Welcome to The Attendant by Poolside Tech. In this video, we are going to show you how to configure an advanced pool using the discoverability feature available in several market-leading variable speed pumps. To get us started, we have already made the physical wiring connections to The Attendant and we'll be building a pool that matches the diagram shown on the screen. After you have unboxed, mounted, and made all the physical connections to The Attendant, we can power on that unit. After a brief boot-up period, you will be presented with the Let's Get Started screen. Tap the button to move to the next step. Before we can configure the system, we need to make sure we have an internet connection to the attendant. On this screen, you can configure your Wi-Fi or wired connection. Once you are connected, tap the Next button. Here you will be presented with a short code that you will need to enter into the mobile app in order to continue the setup process. Let's switch over to the mobile app now and add a new site. To do that, use the hamburger menu, tap Sites, and tap the Add button. Let's enter our short code and some details for this new site. Once we are completed, we will land back on the site selection screen with our new site selected. Press the back button in the top left corner to return to the main screen and we will see a prompt to set up our pool. You can see there is a setup interview process that we can launch with the interview button, but for this video we're going to set up the pool manually. Let's skip the interview process and set up our new pool using installer mode. When configuring your pool using installer mode, we will need to define the bodies of water all the water features, all the devices, and the flow of water through the system. Let's start with defining the bodies of water. If you remember from our pool layout, we will need to configure a pool and spa that are connected via a spillover. Here I am going to manually add the spillover waterfall feature. Once added, we will need to go back to the spa settings and configure it as the spillover feature. This tells the attendant that water can flow from one body of water to another using this feature. Now is a great time to save our work. Click the Save button in the corner, and click OK on the prompt that comes up. You might have noticed on the main screen of the app that the attendant found some unknown pumps for us. Let's go ahead and implement those new devices using the Devices tab. To add the newly discovered pumps, tap the plus button and choose Pump to bring up the Add Pump screen. Here you will need to define the brand and model. For this one, we have a Hayward TriStar, before choosing the appropriate pump from the list of discovered devices. Choosing from this list will automatically populate the bus address and the HUA that was discovered on the serial network. Let's add the SpaJets pump next, which happens to be a Pentair pump. Again, using the same process, let's add the laminar pump, which this time is a Jandy pump. Let's go ahead and save our work again by tapping the Save button in the top right corner. Now that we've created the pumps, 
We could use the Devices tab to continue creating new devices, but you can also do this via the Visual Flow Designer on the Flows tab. The Visual Flow Designer is easier because it lends itself to looking at the equipment on the pool pad and adding devices based on what you see. Here we are building the main flow. This flow showcases the attendant's unique ability to have actuators placed after actuators in your flows. Because you are designing the flow of water through your system, the attendant has no trouble turning the correct valves to activate the features requested by the operator. Let's save our work again. It looks like I forgot to give the main flow a name, so let's do that now before adding the next flow. Now that the main flow is completed and named appropriately, Let's go ahead and add the additional spa jets flow that's highlighted on the pool system drawing. The last flow we need to build is the flow that pushes water through actuators on either side of a T that each control a laminar fountain. Using this setup, the attendant has the unique ability to activate two separate water features that exist in the same flow at the same time.
Now that we are completed with our pool configuration, we can save it to the device one final time by tapping the Save button in the top right corner. To go back to the main screen and see what we've created, tap the Back button in the top left corner of the screen and slide the confirmation slider to the right. As you can see here, we now have controls available for all the features we added during configuration. Use the Pool and Spa tabs to switch back and forth. And switching over to the local user interface, we also have the same controls available there. Thanks for joining me as we looked at setting up a new pool using the attendant, and I hope you have a great day.